Hey designer, welcome to my channel, hope you guys are doing great. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make this professional flyer using your smartphone. Let's check the preview of the design. Before jumping into today's tutorial, let's check the intro. Tickography skills with creativity. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. So guys, without wasting much of our time, let's dive into today's tutorial. Yeah, good evening guys. Welcome back to Rico Gravity Design Trainer. I believe we're doing great. Today, I would want to teach Don't us how we can make a button, very simple and professional church flyer, church program flyer on our Android smartphone using our PC lab as usual. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to select the background we want to use. And in such aspect, we don't need to select any or set any kind of sizes anymore. We just need to use the background as to determine our size. So take it for instance, this is the square size as you can see. Then I have an image being downloaded on my Google then I make uh, the image transparent through the PSCC. If you have watched uh, my previous video on how to use PSCC to make uh, an image or an object to fit, you should be able to understand this. So go to the gallery and you import the image. So I want it to, I've already make it a uh, blend. So it needs to be locked. So after that, we need to go to our right up now because I want to make it very simple. So we we'll have only uh, 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 only church only church international international. Okay, very good. So I will go to my font. Then we can. What kind of a font am I going to use? You need to familiar with those uh, fonts one after the other. Uh, and that one will be very very easy so what i need to do now is to select the kind of a font i want so i want to use amatan regular font so select it then i will reduce the size after reducing the sizes i will uh, uh space there should be a space in between the alphabet so after that i will position it to the center just exactly like this just make it uh, be like this you can go to the board and you board it now make it uh, justify at the center so you can increase the space a little bit just as this so reposition to the center so after that we go back to our text area then you type youth we type youth then we'll go to the font what kind of a font can we use so we'll go to this area then we select the four called a lemon Tuesday font. Lemon Tuesday font. Then increase the size. Have the position around there. Then you use your relative position. Then go back. Sorry. We'll go back to the text area again. Then we we'll have prayer at this uh, junction. We we'll have a prayer. Then the prayer will go to. Uh, let's go to our gallery. I mean the font area, then we select a font called the Leaks Pattern. Leaks Pattern. Sorry, guys. So after selecting Leaks Pattern, then we increase the size a little bit, just as this. And uh, we need to move it up a bit and uh, have it positioned around here. Okay, just have it positioned around here. Then we use our relative position at this juncture. So use your relative position. Then we are going to copy the same thing and uh, we, we edit it to be meeting. So we have a meeting which is a youth prayer meeting. Then we are going to position by increasing this a little bit. Position it to, to here. Just position it around here. Okay then you make sure that everything is uh, actually aligned as you can see so make sure that it's aligned so okay perfect the next thing we need to do is to bring it down let it calm down a bit then we are going to 
has a curve is shape then your opacity to be zero then your stroke to be like a two then you give it a color white color so after that we are going to position that around don't it. forget to hit the subscribe button this. and the bell icon okay perfect let it close out to this a little bit just as this then you bring this one to this particular area so the next thing we need to do is to shift it just shift it sorry so shift it towards here okay okay perfect so after that we what we need to do is to send it to the uh, uh, back sorry we we'll send it to the back and see so after sending it to the back we go to the font area select the font just as small little as this then you crop then another one we crop then we bring it to this particular area so now we go to the color the color area then we use the color picker to pick the color of the background then we click ok so now what we need to do is to make uh, this to go here it's already been at the back so you need to be in front of that shape that we just carve out so we we'll make it to be in front of that okay so let's see how it look so when you can see what did i do the magic there i want to cover the upper part here to make it uh, look uh, awesome so as it is now the next thing i want to do to make it uh, okay i want to reduce the size come to the relative so the wider not the height so i will reduce it a bit after reducing it i will use my relative position to po position it if it is not really balanced i can use the movement button to do it but it must be uniform so the left and the right side must be uniform <laughs> just as perfect as this as you can see so after doing this then the next thing that we can do is to shift this up a little bit to make it uh, look uh, professional so i'm shifting it up just as this i'm shifting it then moving it to this side okay perfect this side so after we are able to do this then you can see so we can we can just uh, draw this one down a bit let me lock this you can lock this then after that we bring uh, this one down a bit just as this okay perfect so after that we can now copy we copy this then we had it to let it do to 16 as you can see 16 to 20 to 20 20 of uh, august 20 of august comma 2022 okay perfect so now we are going to reduce the size uh, and i uh, have this position under here so as we position here you can now increase the size if you want so perfect so we can we can adjust this manually as you can see adjust it manually okay so shift it to this side a bit so it's cool now okay good so the next thing we need to do is to just uh, copy so we will have 4 pm to 6 pm 4 pm to 6 pm so as you can see then we are going to give a different color we give it different color as you can see so give it different color so after that we increase the size a bit so if possible we are going to move the whole thing we are going to move it up so Don't after you are able to do this we use our, our, our movement arrow to move it we are going to move it just as this so after that the next thing that we are going to do the next thing we need to do is this we are going to give a space in between this so let's have a space then we we'll position it to the center 
okay perfect so now the only thing that remain that we need to do i want to shift this to come down then i'm going to shift the whole thing up so after position this here then let's go to the color and have a color change then we are going to just uh, position this here let's position it here to make it a uh, look awesome uh let, let's check okay it's okay like this we we'll have a utah prayer so we are going to just adjust this to make it a workout just as this so we have a youth as you can see so i can increase the Don't size don't forget a bit to hit the subscribe button and the bell it's going icon to work. so after increasing the size i will i will shift it up for me to adjust okay after adjustment I'll bring it down to this particular place. So bring it down. Okay, perfect. So after this, move this. Make sure that you follow what we call alignment very well. So what I'm going to do is to alight the whole thing, excluding the top uh, design. So I'm alighting the whole thing. Uh, let's look at uh, the church only the right top including this and this so i'm not touching that so after that the next thing i'm going to do is to just uh, click on this uh, and uh, you have it move even that one is already affected so we can shift it up a bit so after that we click ok so this can come down after reaching this particular area we are going to position it to the center again so now we go back to we we'll go back to our gallery then uh, we we'll have this particular shape beam bringing here just as perfect as this so after that we we'll lock it so we are going to repeat the same process to bring uh, all the right up a little bit closer so we mind the first or uh, the early church we need to mind it and we we'll have to leave it exclude it out so that it will not affect the whole system so we click movement arrow so that for us to be able to drag it down a bit so now we are done with everything under 15 minutes as you can see and we have our design been making sense as you can see so ch properly check the alignment and make sure that everything is aligned and as you can see the line between at the left and the right everything has the, it is at the center so i'm able to make a justification to that and that is what we call alignment is either we align to the left or align to the right or to the center so this is just a simple way to make a church program flyer on your android smartphone using your pc app Thanks for watching. I believe we'll gain something from here. God bless you. Just save with a dimension of a ultra, then with format PNG. Thanks for watching once again.